And three, two, one. I'll lip at that in the morning, and we're back. Look who's here. Wave Potter. What's up quarter pounders and olipers? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally doing it. This song has been very heavily requested and uh, the reason it took me so long to get to it is because I was learning it myself. I wanted to really be familiar with the song before I react to it and I made my own cover of it. Of course, the song is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. I learned it and covered it in its original style. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll link it at the end of the video. Video. I'll link it in the description below so you can check it out if you want to and uh, I'll also put a card for it right here that you can come back and whatever's easiest for you if you want to check it out I would really appreciate it and of course I'll play a little sample of it Just a quick heads up, this is a reaction and analysis video, so I will be pausing. But if you just want to watch the original video, go support the original artist's channel. That said, if you're excited to see this, pound that like button, subscribe and ring that buddy bell. And if this is your first time here, I started playing drums when I was two years old. I went on to become a multi-instrumentalist and play in many bands. And now I like to make one-man band covers and watch other musicians play music, react, analyze, and break it down. Break it down! <laughs> That said, let's jump into this Alabata cover. Oh, copy, copy, mana, copy. Here it is. I know I'm kind of a crazy cat person. My wife got me this mug, Rosie, because since we don't have dogs, we put our cats on leashes and take them outside, and that's about what they do. Anyway, let's get into this. He's tapping this? hard enough to play with a pick. How the heck is he tapping this? Okay, on second thought, don't watch my cover because it's just embarrassing after watching this because I'm only playing one instrument at a time. This is insane. I gotta see this again. This is so crazy! <laughs> Not only is he playing this crazy bass and lead part together, but he's also doing the percussion and now he's about to start playing the lead vocal melody. He's got so much style in his playing. so easy to listen to. Oh, this sounds awesome. I gotta mention how creative he is when he puts these songs arrangements together because he's only got six strings to work with in a song as complex as this with so much lead going on. You kind of gotta be very creative with the way you use these six strings because there's a lot more than six strings worth of music going on in this song. He's able to capture the essence of each part 
put together with just these six strings and the body of the guitar. I mean, he makes use of every part of the guitar, which is also phenomenal, but it's mind blowing. even has the drum accents in there. Key change beautifully. was absolutely insane <laughs> i can't believe how well he played that there was so much going on in this song i gotta watch it again because obviously this is an incredibly complex thought out cover i can't imagine how long it takes him to come up with these arrangements because it's got to take a lot of practice this isn't the kind of thing you just sit down and sound out while you play there's so many parts i would imagine it takes a lot of practice and rehearsal just to get used to where all the notes are falling because you've got to have so many different finger shapes it's unbelievable <laughs> I love how nonchalant he is about being able to tap this. It's just like, like the beginning there when he's tapping this is just like his relaxation time. <laughs> he's just like, it's so easy for him it seems. He makes it look easy. Which is a true talent in itself. out the beauty of the melody in this song because like i said before with rock music it's easy for the melodies and you know just the beauty of the song to get buried beneath the rock the compression the distortion all that stuff it's all effects that are added to make it sound cool but it does detract from the soul of the melody a little bit because you're not getting the pristine crispy harmonics and melodies that you would get from a clean sound like this so this cover really accentuates how beautiful this melody really is Part. 
It's a much different vibe than the original song, but still captures its essence. It's so cool. This key change. And to still be able to capture this solo on just one instrument. Right there is a perfect example of what I was talking about, bringing out the beauty in the melodies, because the way he walks up that minor scale really brings out the beauty in it. The beauty of this scale gets kind of lost in the wah pedal and the distortion in the original song, but here, just listen to how pretty it is. Amazing. So good. I did not realize how blown away I would still be by his guitar playing. Because I'm like, I already know he's a genius and incredibly talented. But that still caught me off guard with how good it was. Especially tapping that intro lead part so nonchalantly. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Again, I did make my own one-man band cover of this. So go check that out. I'll put a card to it right here. Or there will be a link to it in the description. But that said, thank you so much for watching watching. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, I have a lot of requests and I'd like to work my way through all of them someday, but it's hard to keep up with them. So if there's a specific song you would like me to react to sooner than later, there's always a link to my website below where you can make a one-time request of a video that I will make within a couple weeks, uh, even a couple days if you want. Or you can join my Patreon and also get perks that include getting requests from me. That's where I'm going to wrap it up. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you next time.